All righty, so we can say, stay somewhat on track here. We're going to go ahead and get started, and there'll be people coming in. Um, but uh, we're going to do the second half of our water quality and habitat um, track here for our, our flash talks. And um, our first speaker is uh, uh, Dr. Daryl Townsend from the Grand River Dam Authority. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Here's One's the laser one. All right, thank you. Uh, how many people are familiar with the Grand River Dam Authority out there? Oh, wow, a whole bunch of folks. So everybody's familiar with Grand Lake then, right? Uh, so essentially, a lot of times, GRDA, most people, especially in our communities, GRDA as, as really an energy <laughs> provider or utility, right? Uh, we have assets in coal. We have coal units at our Shoto plant. Uh, we have a new combined cycle gas plant uh, that facility, which is uh, one of the most efficient uh, in the world, uh, for sure. So when that thing has been up and running, it essentially runs nonstop, uh, primarily because of uh, today's energy market. They essentially dispatch Darryl. all Darryl. of the. Uh, do what? Can you talk? Microphone. Yeah. Did anybody have trouble hearing me? Where were, where were they? Oh, your video. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So uh, we have the combined cycle gas plant will come on. And it'll run nonstop, essentially, when it's online because of its efficiency. Uh, and uh, where I come in is, is water. We actually uh, uh, have three hydropower units. And, uh, and then we have a little bit of wind as well. Uh, but a lot of people don't recognize, you know, we're also uh, provide a lot of government surfaces, services. And uh, we do that at no cost to Oklahoma taxpayers. Um, and so despite us being having all this energy production, uh, we we're actually developed as a state agency. A lot of people don't realize that as well. And uh, so we manage about 70,000 surface acres, uh, including those three lakes. So Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and the WR Holway Reservoir. Uh, more recently, 2017, uh, we started, uh, we, we took over the Scenic Rivers Commission. Uh, so we're essentially implementing uh, the same uh, regulations as the Scenic Rivers Commission. Ed Fight came on board. I'm sure many of you know Ed. Uh, he's very uh, well known in the, in the water resources arena. And uh, he is a, a very good advocate uh, for water resources. And he's actually uh, making the case to really uh, almost change the perception of GRDA uh, as really a, uh, Ed's goal is to, is to have GRDA become known as a water management agency. And so I think he's gone a long ways uh, to helping us accomplish that. So when you look at our jurisdiction, uh, we've got uh, the Grand Lake watershed, which is a significant portion. Uh, it includes quite a bit in uh, Kansas. So we cover four states and two EPA re regions. And uh, as you know, those complex jurisdictional issues can sometimes be difficult uh, to manage uh, some of those competing interests, especially across state lines. Uh, as well as the two EPA regions. They don't necessarily communicate very well, uh, believe it or not. Uh, and then, uh, again, more recently, uh, the Scenic Rivers has come under uh, GRDA's jurisdiction as well. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is GRDA is second only to the Oklahoma Water Resources Board uh, in the amount of water uh, that's under our jurisdiction. So we control all surface waters of the Grand River all the way down to Fort Gibson. 
So anybody needing surface water rights has to come to GRDA uh, for those waters. And uh, right now we're working closely with the Water Resources Board uh, and the Corps of Engineers. We're trying to help fill in that comprehensive water plan for Northeast Oklahoma. Uh, and so we're working closely uh, with the Conservation Commission as well uh, on trying to implement some best management practices in these areas. Uh, we've recently um, uh, are finishing up a 10-year uh, partnership with University of Oklahoma, working on watershed issues uh, during, throughout that program. We essentially uh, provided opportunities and funded fellowships for students uh, working on watershed issues in the Grand River uh, vicinity and, and under our jurisdiction. Uh, so with that, I'll, I'll end it there. That's just a brief history. If anybody has questions or anything, I'll be around the rest of the afternoon. So thank you. Great. Thank you.